Hey guys, Slayer is now out, so now you can be able to play the new class Slayer. Uh, let me introduce myself real quick for those who are new to PS2 NGS and or returning. My name is Renova and I primarily cover PS2 content, like weapon guides, class guides, skill tree guides, all that sort of stuff. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So welcome everyone to my Slayer guide. This video I will be covering the basics, photon arts, skill trees, add-on skills, mechanics, all sorts of stuff, and I'll try to make this as in-depth as much as possible. Slayer is a fast-paced class that focuses on crit chance, allowing you to utilize the gun blades. Slayer's gimmick is that you can cover a lot of ground as much as possible. They have a similar mechanic that when you are closer to enemies, the more damage you will do. Slayer only has one weapon, which is the gun blade. The blade acts as an extension to the gun so that they can ut utilize close combat. But first, let's go over the Photon Arts. Each of these Photon Arts have two variations, one with directional input and one without any inputs. This is what they also call Stay and Move Arts. Starting with Shifting Spica, the non-directional input, you will perform a horizontal slash, following up with a blast at the end. And the directional input version, you will instead gap close and following up with a blast at the end as well. For flowing series, the non-directional input, you will do a series of 3 forward slashes, and you can hold this PA down to do an additional 2, but this will cost more PP, following up with a blast at the end. And the directional input, you have a slight movement dealing AoE damage. Reaping Regulus, the non-directional input, you'll toss a bomb while pushing yourself back. I haven't tested this out yet, but I'm assuming it has guard frames. There's a little shield as it launches you backwards and its directional input, you will instead kick the grenade and the grenade will fly towards the enemy at a curved angle. And waving Regal, think of this PA like Luster. Its non-directional input, you will stab the gun blade on in the floor and deal some AoE damage. If you use this while in midair, you will instantly go down and smash the floor. The directional input version, you will instead rise while dealing damage as you rise. Now moving on to the class skills, and first and foremost, let this be known Slayer does not have the optimization skill that Braver and Bouncer has. Slayer is not a hybrid class, so the skill will not apply. For those unaware of what I'm talking about, this skill allows hybrid classes to convert one stat to the other so that they can focus on one potency stat. Like if they were playing a katana, they would affix range potency on the katana, and Bouncer Soaring Blades affix with tech potency, so that they both can focus on one stat instead of having to focus on dual statting. But moving forward, we have the skill tree, Starting off with Gunblade Focus, this grants you the ability to charge up the Focus Gauge. When you charge this gauge, you have access to 5 gauges. The higher you charge, the more potency, offensive PP recovery, and consumption decrease. You'll need to keep an eye on that yellow bar above the pallet, as this will constantly deplete if you do not attack enemies. And another note, this only works for Gunblades, so if you use a Gunblade as a subclass, this will work. And Gunblade Focus has 4 subskills. Gunblade Focus Overdrive, this is a main class only skill, grants you access to the active skill. When activated, your focus gauge will automatically fill and increase the effects of the Gunblade Focus. You can also activate the skill again to perform the final blow inside the dome effect. Gunblade Focus Gauge Amplifier, if your focus gauge is empty, this helps charge your gates faster. However, if you've charged and filled up the first gauge, charging the rest will be back to normal. Gunblade Focus Reset PP Gain, you will regain PP back depending on how many gauges you've charged up. You will recover at least 20% as a main class and at least 10% as a subclass. Gunblade Focus Critical Up, this increases your crit chance according to how many gauges is filled. The effect is the same when you're in the overdrive state. In other words, during your active skill. And this skill increases your crit chance by 2%. And Gunblade Focus Overflow, this skill is related to the other active skill for Slayer, the Unleash Rage. So if you filled up all 5 gauges, you'll charge the Unleash Rage active skill faster and this shortens its cooldown time as well. You can also charge the active faster if you're already in the Gunblade Focus Overdrive state. And this is a main class only, so keep that in mind. Unleash Rage is another active skill for Slayer. This is accessible as a main class only. This has its own gauge to charge up, but you can charge it up normally by attacking with the Slayer Photon Arts and stuff with the Relentless Blade. Once charged, you can cast it and you will follow up with a big blast at the end. And Unleash Rage After Effect temporarily increases your crit chance by 5% after the active usage for a set time. Again, 
main class only. Critical up boosts your crit chance, and gallant attack critical up boosts your crit chance whenever you're attacking bosses. These two skills are fantastic as a subclass if you're building Slayer as a subclass. Critical hit PP gain will grant you PP back if you land critical hits. This is not guaranteed though, so there is a slight chance, but the activation probability is 100% if you max the skill out. But you can only gain up to 4 PP as a main class and 2 PP as a subclass. Short range hotshot lets you do more damage the closer you are to enemies, but this only benefits the gunblade normal attacks. Charge blade lets you charge your normal attacks, and you can do a follow up attack by pressing the weapon action at a certain timing only for gunblades. Slugshot changes your normals after you perform any photon arts. If not learned, the attack range is pretty small. But the attack range gets bigger if this skill is learned, but this only triggers without inputting a directional input. Relentless Blade is the follow-up attack when you press the normal attack button during your photon activation, and the Relentless Blade Reinforce increases the damage of it by 500%. Blade Counter grants you the ability to either press the normal attack or the weapon action when you successfully counter using the weapon action. And the Blade Counter Critical Up boosts your crit chance up by 5%. Mobile Blade triggers if you press the weapon action along with the directional input. You will get iframes and depending on the input, the attacks will change. And Mobile Blade Counter is basically the same thing. The only change is when you successfully dodge an attack following up with either the normal attack or the weapon action. And again, both actions do different things. And that's basically all there is to the Slayer skill tree. Slayer has a lot of uh, counter mechanics, and you can even sidestep counter and follow up with a weapon action for that gap closure too, which is insane. And the mobility that you get with Slayer is very good at repositioning too. And of course, make use of the focus gauge as it can give a lot of benefits. Um, not only to, uh, to the dome attacks for that active, um, you benefit from much more like PP consumption decrease, faster charge on the unleashed active skill, and all sorts of stuff. Now to allocating these class skills, right now we have access to 47 skill points. And if you look at the tree, there's quite a couple skills here that requires more than one point. And if you plan on maining Slayer, I would recommend you spend your points on everything and leave the extra points for the sub skills. So like, there's 14 skills here that take 1 point. I put my points in those first as a main class, put 5 into the Gunblade Focus, Gauge Amplifier, Reset PP Gain and Overflow, Critical Hit PP Gain, and then invest how many you want into the Critical Up and Gallant Attack Critical Up. As a subclass. I would put all your points into critical up, gallant attack critical up, uh, critical hit PP gain, and if you're if you have a spare points left over, uh, put those points into skills that does not require Slayer as a main class, unless you have to, to just to build up that battle power. As for multi weaponing, I can't think of any weapons that the Gunblade can work great with as a main class. As a subclass, however, I can see that the Team Gs might be able to work well with each other because both uh, require you to be up close as much as possible to deal out bonus damage. And maybe rifles uh, for Ranger as well, but I'm not sure how well that will be. The Gunblade has a lot of complexity on its own and it seems like it can do a lot solo, just like Katana for Braver. Generally, you want to be up close to the enemy as much as possible, so that you can benefit from the close range normal attacks with the hotshot skill, and trying to consistently attack to keep up that uh, focus gauge from depleting. Keeping it up means keeping up with the extra benefits you can get. If you plan on using Slayer as a subclass, you just have to keep in mind that if you use the Gunblade as a subclass, there is a 10% damage cut, and the skills on the Slayer tree requires stuff to either be used with Gunblades only or as a main class. You have access to the Focus Gauge as a subclass as well, but you have to use the Gunblade in order to build up the gauges, and that requires Gunblade only. And just know if you want to sub Slayer, Slayer is only a good sub for the crit chance. Crit chance against bosses, and maybe PP management for landing crits, that's literally it. 
The last thing I want to touch on are add-on skills. The main thing that you want to focus if you want to build these um, is Ranger, since it buffs range potency and photon blast potency. Braver and Fighter for crit bonuses, and that's basically it. Your range should be at least level 15 or higher. I'd recommend checking out its sub skills as well for some other classes. But yeah, that's it for my Slayer guide. I hope this was as informative as much as possible. Slayer is an amazing class and its complexity is great. With that being said, my name is Renova. Uh, I would appreciate a like and sub to the channel for more PS2 content and I'll be uploading more Slayer content in the future. Yeah. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, hope you have fun playing the new class Slayer and thanks for watching.